The overall goal of this procedure is to stimulate blood vessel growth in the mouse cornea. This is accomplished by first making pellets containing growth factor. The second step is to perform the surgical implantation of a pellet into the cornea. The mice are then left for 5 to 6 days depending on the growth factor to allow for vessel development. The final step is the quantification of vessel area using a slit lamp microscope to measure average vessel length and the distance around the circumference of the eye that the vessels have grown. Ultimately, the corneal micropocket assay is used as a reproducible and reliable method for the study of in vivo angiogenesis. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of the technically delicate nature of the procedure. Investigators should anticipate extensive practice prior to experimental trials to ensure consistency in both the surgical and grading techniques. Begin the pellet preparation by weighing out 10 mg of sucralfate and 60 mg of hydron with a sterile unbent spatula and place them in separate microcentrifuge tubes. Place a 1 cm square piece of nylon mesh into a sterile 10 cm dish. Invert it so the mesh rests on the shallow lid and set it aside. Next, add 500 microliters of ethanol to the hydron and vortex it for at least 10 minutes. Retrieve a vial of growth factor from the minus 80 freezer. Growth factor stock should be at a concentration of one milligram per